Now let us begin our class with Brahmanad. Om. Om. Shanti. 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 Today, let us discuss auxiliaries. What do you mean by auxiliaries? Auxiliaries are the helping verbs. They help us in the formation of tense, in the formation of voice, and in the formation of modes. And you know, auxiliaries are of two types. What are they? They are primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary. Clear? Which verbs are used as primary auxiliary? The forms of to be, the forms of to have and the forms of to do are used as primary auxiliary. What are the forms of to be? The forms of to be are is, am, are, was, were, been, and been. What are the forms of to have? The forms of to have are has, have, had. And what are the forms of to do? The forms of to do are do, does, did. So what have you understood? Is, am, are, was, were, been, being, has, have, had, do, does, did. These are used as primary auxiliaries. If you count, the total number will be 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. These 13 verbs are used as primary auxiliary. Clear? Now come to model auxiliary. What do you mean by model auxiliary? The auxiliaries that convey a request or duty or certainty or promise or assurance or threat or obligation or seeking permission or giving permission or possibility etc. Is known as model auxiliary. Clear? And which verbs are used as model auxiliary? They are shall, will, can, may, should, would, could, might, must, ought to, used to, dear, and need. If you count, you will get 13 number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And these 13 verbs are used as model auxiliaries. Now, let us go through the activities of the text. As you have already read in your school level, the usages of these models, shall, will, can, may, should, would, could, might, we are not going to explain them individually, but we will take some of the models and how they are used in different expressions such as request or duty or certainty or promise or assurance or threat or obligation or seeking permission or giving permission or possibility etc that we will explain clear now now let us go through modern forms it is in our book we have already explained to you about auxiliaries clear modern forms or modern auxiliaries in session 1, we are saying 
making about making requests. We use the modern auxiliaries can, could, may, will, put for making requests. And remember, my students, can as a modern auxiliary is used for making informal requests. Whereas, could as a modern auxiliary is used for making more formal and polite requests. May as a modern auxiliary is used rather for making formal requests. We as a modern auxiliary is used to make requests when we don't need to be particularly formal or particularly polite. What have you understood? When we don't need to be particularly formal or polite, then we use the model auxiliary will for making requests. Would you, would you, or would you, or would you mind is used when we want to be more polite or hot. So, what have you understood? Would you or would you mind is used when we want to be more polite and more formal. Now, let us go through a few situations of activity 1. In activity 1, we have been saying here, make a request to show each of the situations mentioned below using an appropriate model of journey. Let us study the first situation. You need some money. Ask a friend to lend you some. See, we are not formal with our friends and with our Mothers, but we are very much formal with our superiors, with our father and strangers. As we are not formal with our friend, we should use can as as a model auxiliary. Can is used for making an informal request. In one. Clear? You need some money. Ask a friend to lend you some. Here in the bracket, can is already given. So, what will be the answer? Can you lend me some money? Can you, can you lend me, lend me some money? You may use please, you may not use also please. But here, when you say to your friend, can you lend me your dictionary? Can you lend me your book? Or can you lend me your bicycle? Or can you lend me some money? In these situations, can is used as a model auxiliary for making informal requests. Now let us proceed to the second one. You want someone to tell you how to reach the railway station. Here in this situation, we have been saying you are taking the help of someone who is not known to you. In this situation, you should not be informal. Rather, you should be formal. And for formal requests, what do we use? We use the model either put or put. Would you, would you tell me, would you tell me the way to the railway, railway station? If you use space, you 
can use comma then which. If you ask, sir, if we use could, will it be wrong? No, it will not be wrong. As both would and could as modern auxiliaries are used for making formal requests. You can also write, could you tell me the way to the railway station? Or if you don't want to be particularly polite or formal, you may also use the model auxiliary will. Will you tell me the way to the railway station, please? Clear? Uh, in your mind, the question may arise if we use the model will. Will it be wrong? No, it will not be wrong. It depends on you. If you want to be formal, if you want to make formal request to the person, you can use the model auxiliary either would or could. And when you don't want to be particularly polite or formal, then you can use the model auxiliary will. Here, if you can use the model auxiliary would, you can use the model auxiliary could, or you can also use the model auxiliary can. Or you may ask, sir, may so use for making formal request? Can't we use may? Yes, you can use. You may say, may I know the way to the railway station? May I know the way to the railway station? You can use. Don't think. As you have already no more no. A model auxiliary is given here. It depends on you which model auxiliary will you use. Whether you will use would or could or may or will. But in this situation, you should not use the model auxiliary can for making a request. Now let us go through the third one. You want your room key from the reception. Is important. Ask the receptionist to give you the key. Your models are given can or may. If you want, sir, I am a very, I am a very good person. I want to be polite or formal even with the receptionist. There also you can use good or good. But generally, we are we are not formal. We don't make formal request to a receptionist. We are not formal with the rich pullers, though they are senior to us. We are not polite to the laborers, though they are senior to us. But as a human, I should say to you, don't underestimate others. The persons who are Senior to you should be respected. You should not be informal. Oh, you should be you, you may informal, but if you use formal, that is also not wrong. You are both, you are saying you can use may or can. May I get or may may you give me the key. You want your room key from the receptionist in a hotel. Ask the receptionist to give you the key. Can you, if you want to be informal, you can use the model auxiliary. Can, can you give me the key? Please, if you want, you can use comma and please. Can you give me the key? of my room or you can also if you want to be formal you can use the model may may you give me the key of my room please may you give me the key of my of my room please now let us go to the last one, you want a visitor to wait a minute while you get ready. Visitor is not 
known to you and not well acquainted with you so you should be formal with him so either he would the model of the lady or or would would you wait would you would you wait would you wait a minute while i get ready you can also use the modal auxiliary could would you wait a minute while i get ready now let us go through the activity number 2 now activity 2 in activity 2 we are saying manisha is ill and has to request her friend to do things for her use the models can or will or could or could for the request that she must make and remember more than one model is possible see in activity number 1 i say to you we use the model auxiliary can for making in or not request generally we use model auxiliary can to our friends for a for informal request but when we are making some unusual request to our friends in that situation we should we should use the model auxiliaries that express formal requests now see the first one manisha wants some books to read she would like her friend to get her shop in this situation you should not be formal you should be informal and you can use the model auxiliary can can you can can you get me get me some books please or can you please get me some books also you can use now let us go to the second one manisha wants some vegetable soup for lunch see this is uh, an unusual request even though she makes this request to her friend here we should use the model auxiliary either would or could could you could you could you prepare or could you make some vegetable some vegetable soup for lunch or you can write also could you please prepare some vegetable soup for lunch then the next one manisha wants a friend not to go out and leave her alone this is also an unusual request so she should be formal and should use the model auxiliary either would or could would you would you would you please stay with me and not go not go out manisha wants a friend not to go out and be her alone would you please stay with me and not go out or if you are saying would you please not go out and stay with me clear now let us go to the last sentence
Manisha wants her train towards her office. This is also an unusual request. In such request, we should be formal. She should be formal. So we should use the model either would or could. Could. Could you. Could you wash. Could you wash my clothes. My clothes bleach. Or you can write could you bleach. Wash my clothes. See, I have worked out only four situations or four requests of activity 2. In the previous one also, I made only four situations and another four or five situations you will find both in activity 1 and activity 2. We should be done by you. Now let us proceed to activity number 3. Now this is activity 3 of section 1. Here the question is, Sima is staying in Rina's house. Shima is staying in Rina's home as a guest. And Rina has to request Shima to do a few things for her, which she is not able to do herself for some reason or the other. See, first one is switch off the lights. As it is an unusual request, we have to use the model either would or could as would and could as model auxiliaries convey the formal request. Could you pitch? Could you? Could you please switch off? Switch off? Switch off the lights. Here you have to give the reason. The reason is I am feeling I am feeling sleepy. I am feeling sleepy. Here. Now let us go through the second one. She makes another unusual request. Make some tea. She makes this unusual request to her guest. As she makes this unusual request to her guest, she should be formal. And you know, we use would or could for making formal request. Would you please? Would you? Would you please make make some? Here, now you have to give the reason. I am having, I am having a severe, a severe headache. She has to give a reason now why she makes an unusual request to her guest. Then, what are the plants in the garden? As she makes an unusual request to her guest, she should be formal and use either would or could. Would you or could you? Could you? Could you preach? Could you preach water? The plants, the plants in the garden. The request, formal request is made. Could you please water the plants in the region? She has to give a suitable reason. I have to go to market or I have to go to, her, uh, to the hospital to see an early fate. I have, I have to go to, uh, to the hospital to the hospital, hospital to see 
my friend or my neighbor. I have to go to the hospital to see my friend there. Now another unusual request is made to the guest. Feed the dog. Here she should be more polite. And for more, more polite, I have also used, I have also said to you to use would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you would you mind? Feeding the feeding feeding the dog. If you say, sir, would you please feed the dog? Or would you please, would you please feed the dog? Will be correct? No, they will not be correct. But the most appropriate will be if you use would you would you mind? Would you mind? M I N D. Would you mind feeding the dog? And you have to give a reason. I have. I have to go to my. I have to go to attend to attend my online online. Would you mind feeding the dog and what reason will be given? I have to go, but I have to attend, I have to attend my online class. Here, in our next video, we will go through the section 2 of Model Box.